Welcome to the sneak preview for Simple Steps Raster, a revolutionary new color separation plugin for Corel Draw. With Simple Steps Raster, you'll be able to color separate everything from simple spot color jobs all the way up to the highest of the high end printing that you'll want to do on dark garments. Simple Steps Raster is revolutionary because it's an entirely too new method of color separation for the screen printing industry. What looks like simply simulated process is not simulated process, but yet is effective for separating everything, as I said, from simple spot color jobs all the way up to the highest of the high end. The amazing thing with Simple Steps Raster is that you'll be able to do all of this directly in Corel Draw. You won't need to go out to Adobe Photoshop. You won't need to go out to Photo Paint or out to another application that's been developed to do simulated process. It's so easy that once you've created your separations, working with them and adjusting them is as easy as working with objects in Corel Draw. And you'll also be able to mix your color separations with all of the functionality that you have available in Corel Draw, such as text or changing the design or adding elements to it after you've separated, it, separated your art based on the plates that you're working with. Simple Steps Raster is based on the HSB color model, which is hue, saturation, and brightness. And well, as I said, it looks like simulated process, it's actually an HSB color separation, an entirely new method for the screen printing industry. We've tested this many, many times, and it works very effectively. Also, working with our simple steps and dots, we can get a live preview of what our color separations are going to look like before we even set them up on press, eliminating the ability of us to have problems with our prints when we get to press. To get started here, let's take a look at a color wheel that we've set up with many different colors and blends, as you can see here. And all of these different colors and blends, we're going to separate based on HSB, huge saturation and brightness. And how that works is, is that we've got color that's blending into color, but what we do is we pull out our colors, which are our hues, and then we add to those our brightness and our saturation, which is our black and our shading. And that allows us to get accurate recreation of many different colors working with just a few colors and doing those separations from raster bitmaps directly in draw. I'm going to go ahead and delete my logo here because I don't want to separate that. We're just going to separate this color wheel. Right now I've got this set up as a macro, but we'll have a full interface set up just like Simple Steps. And when we get this to market next week, you'll be able to work with that. But we'll go ahead and go to our macro manager here, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the colors out of this color wheel. Now, Simple Steps Raster will start processing this directly in Draw and set up all of our color separations for us in the objects manager on different layers that we can turn on and turn off in preview. That'll give us the ability to pick out which colors we want to print and don't want to print. And we can also take colors and merge colors and do some of the things that you've seen done working with the simulated process and the index methods. However, here we're doing it once again directly in Corel Draw. It's kind of strange for me because for many years I thought that things like this would be impossible with Corel Draw, even myself. I would go to Photoshop to do these types of separations, but now I'm doing them literally in a matter of minutes here in Corel Draw. And we're actually going to see that before we finish this session. So what's going on here is that the macro is going through and taking the image and pulling out the different hues of color value around the wheel. And then it's blending those together. And then it's going through and it's going to pull out the saturation and the brightness or the darkness and the lightness. Now that this is finished, I'm going to go to my object manager, and we can see down here we have the original art, and we can click here with the eye to turn that on. Another thing you'll notice is we have up here the blue. Now you can see the blue is coming directly through here. If we come down here and click this off, and we take a look at the original art right here, we can see there is our blue. Now I'm going to go ahead and we'll click off here, and let's take a look at our blue again. So you can see what's going on here. And then take a look. See how this blue is going to blend into this cyan? And then what happens is we come down with our lightness or our white. And then on top of that, our black. And that's what gets us to the place where we have the accurate reproduction of our colors to get to a print that looks like our original art. Now this is an entirely new process of color separation. And we'll get into a lot of different tutorials and things as we roll this system out. What I'd like to do is demonstrate the system for you with a simple, but yet fairly complex, three-color raster image that is the type of job we see very frequently when we're working in small shops and we're getting art supplied from clients. I'm going to go ahead and I'll delete this page. 
And then here on page two, I have a baseball wildcat's tail set up with some red and yellow and black. I'm going to need to color separate this, and having come in as a raster object, normally I'd go to Adobe Photoshop or I'd try to recreate it. But because of all the blending and color we've got going on here, it'd be kind of difficult to recreate. I'm going to go ahead and go to my macro manager. We'll run this through Simple Steps Raster. I'll just double click here, and that'll start to process in Corel Draw. And then we'll be able to set up our color separations very quickly and very easily. Now, because we'll be working with pixels as opposed to raster, and I'll cover all of this in the training, we will need to make some adjustments to our separations, but we'll be able to see that we can very quickly and very easily do that within a matter of minutes and go from having a raster image in Corel Draw to our separation set up and ready to put the halftones, print onto film, and then get up on press and print our job. And I believe we'll go ahead and stop processing here in just a second. And we'll give it another second. There we go. Now we're ready. Okay, we'll go to our object manager. And even though that was a fairly simple graphic, all we need to do is start looking at our different colors. We can come here and look and see here we have our red. Here we have our yellow. And here we have our black. Now we can see that some of the saturation was brought in with our black, and we're not going to want that. So the first thing I'll do is remove this light tint of black that would have been set up in HSB as my saturation. I'm not going to want that. I can change that very simply by going to bitmaps, mode, and selecting black and white. Come down here and change this to line art. Select OK, and I've removed that. Now I've got just my black. What I want to do with this is I'll go ahead and hit Control C, and I'll copy this, and we'll go into a new document. I'm going to select OK here. I'm going to make this 13 by 19, and we'll go to 19 for our page size, 13 by 19, hit enter, and then I'll change this to a landscape, and I'll go ahead and paste this in. Now this would be my black separation. We can see that it is 100% black. I'm going to go ahead and right-click here and select Insert Page After. I'll minimize this. I'm going to go back to my separations document. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get my yellow. And I'll click on this layer. Now you can't see this because the other layer is on top of it, so we have to turn the eye off so that we can see it. Now here's my yellow. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C here, and I'll go back to my other document, which is right here. Then I'll just hit Control V, and that'll paste that right in place. Now looking at this, I want to do some evaluation of what's going on with my grayscale. I'll go ahead and zoom in here. And I know that if I don't have 100% black where I'm going to print this yellow here, then I'm going to get a halftone. And I want to check and verify that before I go to film. So I'll come here and I'll just click on it. You can see that that's a 12 gray. And I want to change that to 0 gray so I don't get any halftones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment here. And I'm going to come up here and take a look at some of these lighter colors here. And I can see that this is a 31 gray. And I don't want to affect my banding. I just want to change this 12 gray to a solid black, which would be 0 gray. To do that, I'm very simply going to go to Effects, Adjust, and go to Tone Curve. Now, if I just start to pull my Tone Curve, you'll notice that, yes, I'll get darker. But I will affect my banding. I don't want to affect the banding, so I'll left-click and pull here. And then we'll click on Preview, and we'll see that my banding got darker. And I don't want that to happen. I want just this black to be black. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on Reset here, Active Channel. I'm going to change my Curve Option Style to Straight. And then I'm going to come down here in my Tone Curve, down beneath to, let's say, right about here, because I know that I was up in the 20s there, and just drop one dot there. And then I'm going to come here and drop another dot. And then I'm just going to pull this dot right down into here. Now what I'm doing is I'm affecting only the black that's less than the 2018 here, or the black that's down in here. I'm not going to affect the banding in my color separations. Let's click on Preview, and we'll see that. No effect here, and we've going to darken this up. I'm going to select OK, let that process, and then I'll come back with my eyedropper and verify there's my gray, and I've still got my correct banding or the correct gray in my banding. I didn't affect that or ruin that. Okay, that having been done, now my yellow plate is set up for color separation. All I need to do is go back to my separations and I'll come up here. I'll go ahead and turn off my yellow 
I'll come down here and click on my red. I'll go ahead and hit Control C here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up. And we'll go in here and insert a page, insert page after. And then we'll hit Control V and paste that in. And then we'll do some verification with this as well. And I can see that this came in as a nice red with zero. But I can see that I've got some white in here or some light color coming in from my red. So what I want to do is I want to really just kind of bump that up, but then I want to go in the other direction in my tone curve just to get rid of this because we don't want this in here. Some of this lighter colors of gray. Like you can see that's a 246 gray. Once again, I'll go back to my effects. I'll go to adjust and I'll go to tone curve. Here I can see I'm up in the 246 range and I just want to affect this and make this lighter without affecting the banding again. So I want to go here and change this to a straight actually. And then I can drop one here and you'll notice if I go here to the other side and we'll go ahead and move this over and we'll hit preview. You can see that we're just getting rid of that but we're not affecting what's going on with the other colors down here. I'll go ahead and select OK and now my red separation is ready to go. All I need to do at this point is add some registration marks and then go ahead and print this out. So we can see that Simple Steps Raster really is a revolutionary plugin for Corel Draw that's going to allow us to do all kinds of different raster based color separations very quickly and very easily. Working in Draw without having to go into Photoshop or other applications to do these separations and we'll get everything that we need. White base, all of our hues or colors, our saturation, our brightness, our highlights and all. So this is just a sneak peek at the all new Simple Steps Raster, which will be out in about a week. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.